Hey guys, I'm always asked, how do you paint something white using watercolor? Since the only white paint you have is actually not paint, it's the paper itself. Well, I did some digging. I found a couple tutorials for myself to watch, and then I figured I would help you guys out too. So here we go. I did the first painting is just a test that I ran for myself, um, just to make sure I knew what I was teaching. And then the second one, which is actually a daisy, is for you to paint. So get out your stuff. Should be easy. Let's have some fun. Okay, so I know that the bird looks really difficult. I get it. Um, it's really kind of detailed, it's a little more intricate, um, and probably pretty intimidating. So we're not going to do that. But I wanted you to see how far you could take this method. Um, in watercolor to see just how far you can do and I'm not a watercolor artist typically so for me this is a pretty good painting I'm happy with it but we're not gonna worry about this we are gonna do something more simple nice and simple not a big deal so start with a piece of watercolor paper if you have it tape it down with masking tape, painter's tape, something like that. Um, if you don't have painter's tape, any tape you have, masking, scotch, it doesn't matter. Um, take a strip the size that you need and put it on your shirt, on your pants. Um, let it sit there for a minute. Then when you peel it off, there's enough lint on it that when you put it on your paper, when you go to peel it away, it won't tear the paper, or at least it'll tear less of the paper if you go slow. So that's just a tip and trick. Now, some daisies, the one that we're gonna draw, they overlap. So while this one might be on top, the one next to it might be overlapped a little bit on either side. You're going to end up with some dark spots towards the center here where all of these petals come out and the tip I made it round which is incorrect it's actually more squared off like that okay so grab your watercolors fresh water a few brushes a couple at least and let's get started this first petal, we're going to do the wet on wet technique because we can see it because I drew it all the way out. If it makes you more comfortable, by all means, draw out the entire daisy. Mostly the problems that happen to younger artists or beginning artists is that they think they need to get a lot of paint on the brush. And in watercolor, that's absolutely not true. In fact, more is less. If you put one paintbrush full of paint 
in your tray and add like 10 to 15 drops of water, once you can see the bottom of the tray, it might be a decent place to start. Um, you don't want to go too dark too soon. You can always get darker with watercolor, you can't get lighter. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work on what I think is going to be another petal two petals away. And the reason I'm doing two petals away is I don't want to accidentally get any paint into the one I just did because what might happen is it'll start bleeding. And while we might want to do that in some cases, we don't really want to start out that way. You want to test how dark the paint that you just made is, get out another sheet of paper and just do a paint stroke on it. Doesn't even have to be watercolor paper, really. This is just an extra sheet of drawing paper. Here's a straight dip into the blue paint that I mixed up, and that's about the right darkness. If I just take a paintbrush full of the paint from the tray, from the actual paint itself, that's what I get. And that's way too dark to start out our painting. But I'm going to dip it into the water without scraping the sides of the water bucket. And it goes to that. One more dip without touching the sides. Get that. Another dip without touching the sides, and I get that. So now I'm going to touch the side, dip it into the water, scrape it on the side, and then I get that. So you can see one, two, three, four, five, six dips into the water to get the same color that I mixed up in my tray by just adding a bunch of water to one dip of the paintbrush. Now that we have actually a um, set of petals all the way around, now we've got to let it dry for a second. I'll be back and we'll add another layer to this. Alright, we are going to do layer two and it's exactly the same as you did with layer one. I'm going to speed it up so I don't bore you, but once this is dry, and I'll, I'll show you what I mean, you can take the same mixture that you used before and do another layer. Now keep in mind, we do need to keep white going because a daisy is white. We're just enhancing shadows by making them purple. Now we have to do the center of the flower. And now this is gonna be done very similar to the outside petals but with different colors. And we're gonna start with kind of a warm, darker, 
mustardy yellow. So to start with, get everything wet. And away we go. I blended it out to make it look like a mess. That section, I actually did it on purpose. Um, but if it's an accident, that's awesome too. And it doesn't matter where you do it, but it lets some of the colors blend together and it kind of gives it a neat effect and reminds people that this is a watercolor. It is art, it's not a photograph, and it's not supposed to be a photograph. So while that's drying, um, let's put in a stem. And there you have it, a uh, daisy painted with watercolor using the white of the paper to make things white and to enhance the shadows using purples and blues and making it fun at the same time. I hope you enjoyed it, I did, and I'll see you next time.